as part of the club's helping hand at Christmas, yeah, we've come along to the hospital and yeah, spread some uh, good cheer this uh, festive time. So we've been walking around the ward, um, seeing the children and trying to raise their spirits before Christmas, um, share a bit of Christmas joy, give them signed bits and bobs and um, just have general conversations really and like I say, spread that Christmas cheer. As a club, uh, as the players and staff, I think we'll try to do as much as we can in the community over Christmas. Uh, there's been people doing food banks in the day where you had to see sort of the children um, at the hospital to try and give them a little surprise. So um, something that I w always wanted to give back to. Um, so when I was a kid, I probably didn't appreciate it as much, but now I've got my own family. Um, but it must be a really tough time, so it's nice just hopefully to bring some smiles and some faces. We've just been here visiting the patients that are here and trying to brighten up their day-to-day, -day, you know, as part of the Helping Hand campaign. Um, so it's nice to try and make a difference to the kids' days. Just to be able to make that little difference to them, and it's it's nothing for us, it's it's a little bit of our time, but for them it's absolutely everything, and it can change their day, can change their weekend. But to be able to do that, it's an absolute pleasure, and I think it's the least that we can do. The um, children that are going through difficult, you know, different scenarios and um, conditions, so, you know, be able to give something back, yeah, be able to kind of bring some Christmas cheer and some spirit and just, you know, something different for their day. So, yeah, but it's been enjoyable. Just being to meet a few of the young kids and the, some of the kids who have been in today and I think it's obviously quite exciting uh, uh, coming here and, and making them happy and it's great, I, I like giving back to the community so it makes me happy too. I think it's great that we're all here as one club, um, I think it's great that the men and women are here to just show, show it that we're here for the kids really and all the families. At this time of year when we, when we you know, you look at you know, all the families and, and, and that are, that are in the hospitals, you know, I think it's, it's, it's really important that we as a club, you know, look at with the players as well, you know, here with the players, making sure we come and visit them and, and just bring a little bit of Christmas cheer as part of our initiative, Help and Hands campaign as a club, you know, where we, you know, come to the hospitals, a few of the staff, you know, go uh, food banks, you know, doing what we can at this time of year. I think it's really important that, you know, we focus on that. I know, obviously, you know, lots are going on uh, behind the scenes, but, you know, it's nice to, to take, a, take a beat and, and, and really look, look at what's going on in, in the city as well. So it's really exciting to, to be able to see the smiles on the faces of all the staff here and, and the kids and, and the families who are unfortunately here over Christmas. I think it's really important that you, we give back to the community. You know, that's you know, part of one of our values is, is family. And we realise that this, this, this football club isn't, isn't made of, of just the players and the staff at the club, but the fans and everyone who supports us. So I think this gives you know, us a chance to be able to appreciate you know, our fans and appreciate all the, and the, the lovely, um, all the lovely staff here and all the work that's done to, to make sure that you know, families and kids are looked after. So you know, for me, it's, it's, it's a real, um, real something I look forward to every year. And I think it's really important that we, we continue this wonderful tradition and, 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 and show, showcase you know, who we are as a, as a club. This time of year can kind of highlight sometimes when people are isolated and on their own not having much family around but doing things like this when you're role models and you have that privilege to, to lift people's spirits it's nice to actually get out and about mixing in the community and um, because ultimately it is a footballing city and we have that kind of power to be able to go and put a smile on a ch child's face so why wouldn't we go and do that and you know it's not just people in the hospital it's people in the food banks and things like that as well we've just been helping and supporting the incredible work that the food bank is doing to try and give that helping hand to the people of this community we've been preparing food and gift bags for the the people unfortunately we're hearing there's been more demand than they expected which is obviously the need for this support and help to give back to the community so yeah really uh, really interesting day and very inspiring to to first of all appreciate how how fortunate some of us are but also how much work we as a club and as a community need to do to help and support each other i think we all take a bit more time to reflect at christmas we're all looking forward to spending time with our families um, and you know taking time away from work perhaps and as we're helping packing bags for families of five seven ten etc you realize how fortunate you are to have that um, at, at Christmas and so you want to give that help then but I'm not under any illusions that or we're not under any illusions that you absolutely need to give that support throughout the year and you know listening to the incredible volunteers here t talking about the program during every week and the people that are coming and how and why they're coming 
yeah, you need to you need to obviously be aware that the support's needed all the time. But at Christmas time, I think we all take a bit more of a step back and think about that. It's a symbiotic relationship between the football club, the city, the community, and everyone needs to work together. You know, seeing here today and chatting to a few people and then talking about how the football club is helping lift them. You know, with Steve Harper, so a lot of people coming for selfies. And, you know, you can tell that the football club is giving people um, motivation and, and, um, and happiness, but the football club needs to give back to that. The whole city, the whole community needs to give back to, to each other. So we're just one part of the jigsaw in that sense. Football clubs are a central part of the city and, and the wider community, obviously. So it's important to try and put things back. Just just being here this morning for three and a half hours, it's just truly humbling experience. And I asked, is it just is demand particularly high at this time of year? But they said, no, just in general. Um, it's becoming more and more widespread. And to be able to help highlight that, is the least we can do this morning, you know, whether we're professional footballers or in full-time employment, to see people who aren't that fortunate and to be able to help them, you know, I, I, I said, I've said a few times, it's the it's the least the least we can do, and and the more we can do, the better. It's one of many positive initiatives the club have have, have made real positive strides with regards to, you know, fan engagement, but you know, community engagement as well. Obviously, I was a trustee of the foundation as well. We do brilliant work. And for the football club to help support that and and have the women's team involved as well just shows you how wide how widespread that good work that is going on behind the scenes to try and help people and engage with the people of newcastle it, it really is you know i've been party to see some of the work as well and it's great to see the impact it's having across the wider community